Kamojai Kampala suburb is known for the good and bad reasons. Two young boys in the area are changing the face of Kamocha and turning it into a reference point as regards innovations. Innocent Mugabe and Moses Haumba are in advanced stages of developing a sporty plan more like the Russian-made PIK26 Mini Sporty and now looking at securing a license for the Civil Aviation Authority. Samuel Senono visited the young innovators at their home and saw the plan. Uganda has witnessed many innovations in amateur aircrafts, but none matches Innocent Mugabe and Moses Samwa's latest caricature of a sporty plane. Right now, at this current stage, it can fly, but uh, many things are missing on it, so it's not safe to just take it out because uh, they are like onto its body, like the skin is not yet finished, mainly onto the wings and the vertical stabilizer. It is a lightweight aircraft with a 68 horsepower engine, wings of 6 meters, and can fly up to 9,000 feet above sea level, carrying over 200 kilograms. It took years of mastering the aeronautic dynamics before these youngsters started putting pieces together. It was way back in 2015. Uh, Innocent came with an idea. He came up with an idea. I was at home, so he brought the idea. And I loved it because... Uh, it's a good idea, and because I trust him, he's so determined. I had to believe in him, and we had to take on. Till today, we've been together doing it, because at the beginning, it wasn't easy, because we looked at how the money would be flowing in, because we were not working by that time, but we had to, to get focused and do the thing, and get to the point, and work together till today. Mugabe, the lead innovator on this project, throws around aviation terminologies and jargons with ease, and one might easily mistake him for an aeronautic engineer. Now uh, this is our interior of the Skyboy, and this is the pilot control panel and instrumentation. Right now what we have, uh, we have the airspeed indicator. Currently, they are working on securing a license from the Civil Aviation Authority and are optimistic their innovation will see the light of the day. This project... Um, like in 2014, but it was mainly uh, the paperwork bit because uh, before you start an aircraft, you must first do like the planning, its design, and uh, at that time, like uh, I was more doing like design and doing more of its crafting. An aircraft, it's not anything in the making moment. Uh, you just go to. You just do it, even though you're an innovator. You have to follow some rules. I ask Innocent what makes his innovation different from other failed products. Mainly, the difference between Skyboy and other amateur builders who have been making planes around. First, before we were doing its design, we first looked at why many Africans have failed in making successful aircrafts. So we looked at many things in the view of uh, why people are failing to make like successful aircrafts. That's uh, to say the aerodynamics, that's one point you can't miss out. The weight and uh, the materials they use. So we went back like on the drawing board to make something, something different, at least to achieve like flight. Well, I'm seated in Innocent and Moses' latest innovation. For them, they call it Skyboy. But from the look of things, it looks more like a replica of a Russian-made PIK-26 Mini Sporty. And according to them, very soon, it will be hitting the runway. It will be like to irrigate, let me say, spraying pests. So more of this project, it's more like a smaller project. If we are financed and we can make maybe like a bigger company which makes planes for, let me say, farming, Mainly Kalai was facing like more of uh, the agriculture sector. These innovators are not only thinking big, but also dreaming big. Dream is uh, starting up like a company. 
like uh, which make aircrafts, different aircrafts, maybe for different things, agriculture aircrafts used um, in spraying and irrigation, like even passengers and chattering aircrafts normally used for chattering out like, let me say, uh, taking luggage somewhere, stuff like that, and even with tank, maybe like uh, military aircraft. There is no argument that creative and innovative youth will grease the past to Uganda's attainment of the much desired middle income status once given support. But for a very long time, the only appreciation innovators in Uganda have received is sharing their success stories in print media and TV newsroom footage stories. Samuel Sennono, UBC News. Wow, very good story there. Thank you so much, Samuel Sennono who is also the pioneer passenger of the plane. We can't wait to have it on record.